Hey guys, it's Cindy Stewart and it's Friday, so it's time for my Friday video update. I have a question for you today. Did you know that you carry the glory of God in you? I don't always think of myself that way, carrier of the glory, but we are carriers of the glory. Jesus says we are. He's having this intimate conversation with the Father in John 17, and he says to him, Father, the glory that you gave me, I have given them. So we are carriers of that glory. That doxa in Greek, it means the radiance, the splendor of God. That's amazing, isn't it? That's what we carry. The radiance, the splendor of God. We are carriers of the glory. And I was working on my book today I'm, uh, that's going to be released pretty soon. And I was writing about this glory and thinking about, you know, when we, we carry the glory of God, right? And when we begin to worship him, God, how I love you, how you are so majestic. You are beautiful. You are my creator. You are my provider. And we are thanking him for all the things he's done for us. There's our glory that he's given us attracts a greater glory from him. And then suddenly we are encased and surrounded by this amazing glory of God that not only runs through us, but it covers and surrounds us. I mean, that is amazing to think about. This morning while I was going for a walk, I've been having a little trouble with my back on one side and I went and had a massage and tried to get it work out. Well, it actually made it worse. And so for the past four or five days, I have been in amazing pain. I don't know if you call it amazing, but pain. And this morning I told the Lord, I said, what do you want me to do about this? Do I go back? Do I have some more work done on my back? What do I do? And he said, I want you to start stretching it out. So I went for a walk and remember, I was in excruciating pain. I was having a hard time standing up. As long as I was standing, I was fine. As long as I was sitting, I was fine. But the transition from sitting to standing or standing to sitting or getting out of my car was terribly painful. So I went for a walk this morning and I walked a little and I would stretch. And I walked a little and I would stretch. And then I ran a little and I would stretch. And by the time I got through, it was definitely better, but there was still a little pain. And as I went through the day, every time I got up, I would stretch. Every time I'd walk around, I'd stretch. And tonight, it is almost all gone. And I really felt that presence of God as I worshiped him give me a solution in that glory realm of what needed to happen. And that is the power that we carry to engage the greater glory of God as we begin to release the glory that he's put inside of us. So I want you guys to think about that. Take some time this weekend or, or in the next few days, just take some time, set aside an hour and say, Lord, I'm just going to spend some time and I'm going to stir up the glory that already dwells on me, the glory that you have given me that you gave to Jesus and he gave to me. I'm going to stir up that in me. And I am expectant of the greater glory of you to overwhelm me. It's funny because you feel like you're in this great big uh, glory bouncy ball or something because you know that something's happening. You can feel the stirring up inside your spirit. But then when God meets you in that stirring up, there's an overwhelming yes surrounding you. And you may not feel anything. You may just have that sense that there is the presence, a heavier presence with you. But you may, for me, I always feel it first on my hands. They begin to tingle. And then I'll feel kind of sometimes a little breeze around me or a little... Um, extra presence. I don't, it's hard for me to describe it for my own self, but just, just ask the Lord, Holy Spirit, make me aware of the greater glory as I engage in praise and worship to you, because I am a carrier of your glory. So guys, have a great weekend. I love you guys. I so appreciate you listening and I'd love to hear your feedback. I pray that the greater glory 
of the Lord will engage you and stir up the glory that already lives in you and that you will see amazing things and draw more intimate in relationship with him. Thank you guys. Love y'all. Have a great week.